are super excited for this super awesome Friday morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Radio Vision Network. So I got to just get right to it, okay? So we are so excited. We have Brandon Whiting from Speed Raceway. He is the president. Listen, if you don't know about Speed Raceway, you're missing the go-kart. I would say you're missing the boat, but that's not that's not gonna make that's not gonna fly with uh, Speed Raceway. Yeah, I don't have boats. Brandon, <laughs> welcome this morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Of, of my pleasure. So Speed Raceway is uh, it's an awesome place. If you don't know about it, it's right on Route 130 in Cinnaminson. It's this huge like warehouse type place, but they have you guys have go karts. You have an arcade. You've got party rooms. You've got so much going on over there. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it? Sure, you hit on hit on a, a lot of it. Yeah, we're uh, we're right over on in Cinnamons, and we actually have another location in Horsham, PA. Um, we're about a hundred thousand square feet of space. Uh, we have two indoor electric go kart racing tracks, and uh, we do family entertainment. You know, for for South Jersey and for PA, and we do it well. And we have arcades, and like you said, we we specialize in birthday parties and corporate events. We have uh, racing leagues, summer camps, you know, you name it. Yeah, you got a lot going on, and that's really cool is that it's not just a, a kind of like a standalone place where you're like, oh, okay, we'll come and ride some go-karts. They're really proactive, and they're really trying to be a part of the community and, and be involved in everything that's that's going on. And, and the thing that you mentioned that I think is really cool is that you guys do a lot of corporate parties sure. and, like, team building and and – like adults come in and get to act like little kids for for a little while and race the cards and, and play the games. Talk about some of the the success on how that that aspect of the business has grown over the last few years. Sure, definitely. Um, we, you know, we always say that we're fun for all ages, and you kind of hit on it. When people think go karts, they think maybe this is something little putt putt that you do with little kids. No, right. our carts are state of the art. They're made in Italy. They're electric carts. They they fly. You know, they're, they're fast. They're fast. And we have yeah. and we have two different carts. We have a, a, a cart for our adult and uh, teen racers, uh, which is a larger cart, goes faster. And then we have a smaller cart for our junior racers. So we can do ages six and up, um, but the adult racing starts at kind of that 12, 13 year old range. And most of our racers in that actually are exactly what you just said. Right. They're the big kids. They're you yeah. know guys like us that come yeah. in there with buddies, and then all of a sudden we turn into a 12 year old. Yeah, well, we're, I'm going to get to that in one, <laughs> in one second. But so, yeah, so when we first opened, you know, we, we took this concept, uh, which we had seen in other places, and we wanted to bring it to Philadelphia, we wanted to bring it to the East Coast, and kind of the immediate impact was just, hey, we're here, we're open, and people just came. They came yeah. to have fun, they came, they wanted to, they, they wanted to race the track, they wanted to compete with friends, and it worked, and it worked well, but we always knew that to, to do a complete business, there were so many other pieces that would fit in, and the corporate business was something that has really taken off in the last couple of years because it does fit really well with that team building. You know, people in the South Jersey and Philadelphia and PA suburb area that have companies of, you know, teams of uh, salespeople and teams of, uh, you know, IT companies and financing companies. They have all these big teams of people that need to get along and need to work together. And, you know, we have this motto that, you know, happy, healthy employees you know, produce more. They yeah. stick around longer. They're Absolutely. happier. They want to be there. So, so people come to our facility and they uh, and they work on that. It just makes sense. I mean, think about what the normal scenario is in like a team building. Uh, you know, a corporate uh, event. They go to a hotel conference room, right? Sure. They right. throw paper airplanes around <laughs> and and they do all sorts of stupid games, and right? And right. It's <laughs> trust. Here's our trust exercise. <laughs> this is so much more fun and engaging, and you're sure. really going to get to know. The people that you work with on a much more intimate level, when you're having fun and your guard is a little bit sure. short down. It's, you get to cheer for people, you yeah. get to root for people and support each other. You get to kind of be a little nervous and overcome, a, you know, obstacles for yourself. And yeah, that's a huge thing. So if you are looking for any sort of corporate event, I mean, think of a little bit outside the box and go to to Speed Raceway. But you touched on something uh, else that I, I want to talk about because a lot of parents out there they might be thinking, okay, you just mentioned that we bring six year olds to this uh, track. Let's talk about some of the safety aspects that you guys employ to make sure, sure. that we can have six-year-olds out there on sure, these tracks. Sure, absolutely. Safety is the number one thing we do at our facility, and it's something that we work on on many levels every single day. And, and the thing that I would tell people, um, 
that, that hopefully will, will ease their minds a little bit about coming in, having fun at our facility, and not worrying about too much about the safety aspect of it is you go to places like you know Six Flags here in South Jersey, you go to places like Dorney Park in PA, and you have these huge roller coasters. Those people get inspected by state organizations that make sure that the ride is safe, make sure that we're taking every precaution necessary. Right. Those are the same people that inspect and, and hold us accountable for the safety okay. levels. You know, here in New Jersey, it's uh, you know the DZA, Department of Ride Safety. We have people, inspectors coming through all the time. We have certain protocols that we do. We have full-time mechanics that are making sure the carts are running properly, they're okay. performing, they're safe. We do safety inspections on the cart every single morning, every single cart. That's, see, this is such good stuff to know, right? Because you wouldn't necessarily know that just either going in or, 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 check, or checking the place out online, but the fact to know, to know the fact that there is kind of like this governing body or this organization that kind of looks over and makes sure that everything is safe kind of probably gives parents and everyone else a little bit of peace of mind. Sure, absolutely. And, and, you know, and then the other part of it is we come in and we've, we've been around for about four years now. We've done hundreds of thousands of customers and hundreds of thousands of races, and, and we haven't had anybody get hurt. Yeah, that's great, and that's a great track record, and that's something that you should be proud of. I hope you have that that sign that says, you know, right. a thousand and five hundred <laughs> days without an accident, right? right? That's right, um, the old McDonald's sign, right? You know, two hundred thousand served. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, because you want to be proud of your success, and that's what it, what that is is a statement to your success. So, listen, I've got so much more to talk about. I don't know. Does this guy look familiar to you? You might uh, you might recognize him. I'm not sure. We're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. So stick around here on Morning Coffee. We'll be right back. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, Visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553.
We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. And I am joined by Brandon Whiting, who is the president of Speed Raceway. Speed Raceway has two locations. They've got one out in Horsham, PA, and they've got one in Cinnamons in New Jersey. So make sure you check them out. They're like the best entertainment centers in, in the area, in the area of Horsham and in the area of uh, Cinnamons on 130. So I go, I live in Pensacola, Brandon which is very close to Speed Raceway. I, liter I literally live five minutes away from Speed Raceway. So I'm going to a friend's house one day in Cinnamon and I drive by and I hear your commercials all the time. You guys, you guys do an amazing marketing campaign. Your commercials are catchy, they're funny. They, they, they really grab you, you hear the, you hear the go-karts and they're cool. So I'm driving by, I hear the commercial, I get to a friend's house and I know that they have like teenagers, like preteens and I said, listen, have you guys ever been to Speed Raceway? And they're like, well, yeah, it's right across the street. We go all the time. And I'm like, well, what's it like? I'm like, is it cool? And they were like, yeah, we just said we go all the time. <laughs> Obviously, it's cool. And I said, well, you know, I have a lot of time. As, as a full-time actor, I have time. A lot of my time is, like, during the day. Can I go as, like, an adult man by myself and, and race go-karts? And they were like, well, you, yeah, you could, but... It's just like anything else. You're going to be the guy by yourself, <laughs> you know, at Speed Raceway. And I thought to myself, I don't care about that, right? I want to go race go-karts. So with that being said, Speed Raceway is for everybody, right? I shouldn't think twice. If I want to go race some go-karts, go and race go-karts, right? Absolutely. You shouldn't think twice at all. Whether it's weekend with friends and family, whether it's... Friday evening on a date, whether it's, you know, during the week by yourself. It really is. And you know what's funny about the story you said is that, you know, we have a great staff. You know, it really is all about the people for us. It's, it's our staff, which we love and does a fantastic job. And it's about the people that come in. And one of the great things and one of the reasons I wanted to get into this business was people come to our facility to have fun. It's a smile on your faces kind of business. It's not selling insurance or right. something like that. Right. It's, 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 it's all about the it's people. It's entertainment. So when you come in during the week, you know, in the middle of the day in the afternoon, and maybe you're one of four or five people that are in the building, you come in by yourself, you get such one-on-one -on -one attention from our staff. You can right. pick up tips. Right. They tell you, you know, hey, you want to get your time faster. You know, they become the people. So yeah, come in, come in by yourself. Come in during the week. And that's really cool because that's a way that you can go and get really comfortable, sure. right? So that if you are going to go on a date, which I think is, <laughs> which is a great idea. Oh, yeah. It's so much cooler than the traditional, you know, dinner in a movie or whatever. Hey, let's go to dinner, and then we're going to go someplace really fun. And you're going to, guys, you're going to stand out a little bit. You know, look, girls like to be treated well, of course, we understand that. But they also like to get treated like real people, too. And that's a fun thing. It's a fun yeah, environment. It's, it is. It's, and laughing, you know, yeah. breaks down the walls. It gets to that level of intimacy where you can... You know, you can just talk on a real so much level faster, instead of just like yeah. being stuffy. But yeah, we have we have people come in for, for all different reasons and, and different groups. So you talked about that. Um, I guess both locations have two tracks, right? Yes. Two tracks, two different types of cars. Do I can I transfer the carts between tracks? Are the are the tracks specific to the carts? Let's let's right. talk about like for the guys that really like uh, to race go karts, the dynamics between the courses, like is one more of a road style course sure. and, and stuff like that. Sure. Well, they're both road style courses. Okay. You know, we kind of emulate and model ourselves after like a Formula One model mm -hmm. versus like a NASCAR model, which is just a big circle. Right, right. And right. ours are road courses. These are electric carts, which are great because you get straightaways and turns and hairpin turns. You get it's you know it, it's it's fun because the electric cart has so much. Uh, you know, torque on it. Yeah. You know that you, that you can come, you can yeah. you can go into a sharp turn and come out of it. You know, it's right. really for the for for that racing junkie who loves it. Um, but the road style courses, they tend to be one sometimes can be a little bit less technical than the other one, which actually works out for for people who are novices or right. experts or right. You know, one of the great things is we have multiple race packages where people come in and buy more than one race, and they can try out each track and figure out which one they like. That's cool. Um, occasionally, we change up the track designs. Um, for special occasions. Wow. So the infrastructure within the building is kind of amazing in itself then because if you have a track and you're able to modify it, that means that there's certain times where there's space within that 
place that's not being used, which means that it is huge yes. inside. They're big, and, and and you mentioned it earlier. You know, we have uh, we have the two different carts. You know, six and up. We're fun for all ages. Um, the t- carts aren't specific to either one track. Okay. The only thing we do just for for safety, and you know, you mentioned safety earlier, is we don't put the junior carts and the adult carts on on the track at the same time. So the adults just race, makes sense. Adults race with adults. Kids, kids race with kids. Right. You know, it depends on which track they're on that day. But, yeah. you know, it, trust me. And, and, and we've done tons of customers. Everybody loves the speed. You know, some people have a preference on track, but you're going to have fun. Yeah, well, and that's the thing is that it's not like you guys just opened up shop yesterday. You, you know how to do it, how to make the best experience for everybody that comes through the door. And and I'm sure there was a little trial and error in the beginning. And, and look, people have been racing go-karts for a long time. It's not like this is... Uh, something that just came overnight so being able to take all of that knowledge and really apply it to uh, a, a, a massive mega structure like speed raceway is really cool so i wanted to talk about the birthday party aspect of it because you know when i was a kid it was real common to have your birthday party at the fast food joint mm-hmm. they treat you like uh, royalty for a day right, right? and right. you got your throne and everybody has a, a cheeseburger and, a, and then you go home why do I want to have my party at Speed Raceway instead? Well, I think it's it's unique. Um, it's unique to the area. Um, a lot of times in this day and age, you know, birthday parties are this thing. You know, you you know, you get invited to something. You know, yeah. the parents are have all this pressure to yeah. to have a birthday party that's really cool and you all gotta the kids have are gonna love one, because man. your kid wants to go to school and be like, oh yeah. man, my, I had this birthday party. We came. It was awesome. So it, it's unique. It's fun. It's also something where um, kids and adults can do something together. Right. You know, a lot of times these days things get you know separated where you go to a party or you go to a venue and it's just for kids. Right. Or you go to something and it's just for adults. We have it where you really you know everybody becomes a big kid and we have the the infrastructure and, and the cars and everything like you said so we can race both adults and kids. Yeah, you know what's really what's cool about what you said is that you the really popular thing these days is to take your kids to like. Um, they're almost like bigger playhouses or like um, gym, gymnasium type places, and I don't want to I don't want to give any specific names, but I think I you know the places that I'm talking about where the kids go and they bounce around for for a few hours and it's fun, it's great, and the kids love it. But then the parents are kind of on the side, sure. and they they're, they're it's a little awkward. It's right. awkward. I've been to, I've been to a bunch right, of them, right. and if you don't know a lot of people, it's it is awkward because your kids out there and. The Speed Raceway eliminates and bridges that gap, right? They eliminate that gap. They bridge the gap. The kids are there, but there's also the dynamic that if the kids do want to go play games, they can go do that, or, or they can be together doing something else. And that's what's really cool about the dynamic at Speed Raceway. Absolutely. And we have a ton of different stuff to do. We have pool tables. We have food service. You know, We have private party rooms that are racing-themed, really, really top-notch, really first-class. Um, yeah, it's it really is something. It bridges the gaps, and, and and what we try to do is fill that experience where you're always doing something. Kids aren't standing right. around. Nobody's right. bored. You're going from one thing to the next. We every every private party has a dedicated host that's hosting your party, and their only job is to make sure that you oh, get that red right. red carpet treatment. You know that that you're having a great time. Yeah, that is that is awesome. We we're running out of time so fast. I got to take another quick break. Sure. We're gonna come back. And we're going to talk a little bit more to Brandon Whiting from Speed Raceway. This is Morning Coffee. I'm Mark Cook. Stick around. We'll be back in a second. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. 
not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. Thank you for tuning in to the Radio Vision Network. So, we're going to we're gonna wrap things up here with Brandon Whiting. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if you've Googled it yet, because, man, that name sounds familiar, and, geez, this guy looks a little bit familiar. How do I know him? Well, if you haven't Googled it, Brandon Whiting, this guy used to make his living pursuing quarterbacks in the National Football League, and... He happened to play for my favorite football team, the Philadelphia Eagles. So, Brandon, we got I, I got to ask you, you were around during the time. You played for Andy Reid when the Eagles were becoming one of the premier franchises in the National Football League. And, you know, short of saying that was really cool, what was that like? Uh, it was um, – it, it was – Really cool. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was something that was 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 one of the greatest memories I've had in my life. It was such an accomplishment to be a part of something that really was in a transition. It was growing. It was uh, taking something a, a great city like Philadelphia with a storied football history and a storied sports history that kind of kind of in this uh, this losing streak. Right. You know, when I got here, we weren't very good, and we, 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 we had a lot of losses. But then Andy came in, he turned things around, and we started winning. The city of Philadelphia has such a fantastic sports fan base that the city just became electric, and everybody yeah. became a part of it. Yeah, and what's really cool is you talk about that you were part of the culture change. You know, every culture has become such a big buzzword in the locker room, right? And Chip Kelly, they, were, they always talked about culture 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 well Andy established a culture in that locker room that really wasn't there under Ray Rhodes or Rich Kotite or the coaches you know previous to that and you got to play with some potential Hall of Famers yeah. some really great players some really great people and that's what was really nice as fans is that we were able to grow with you as a team and as we got to know you we really liked you because you were really great guys. I mean, sure. let's talk about some of those guys. I mean, uh, we've got Brian Dawkins, who's, I think he's a lock to be in the Hall of Fame, sure, right? Yeah. Legend. Greatest, uh, greatest Eagles defender ever. You know, I, Reggie, but Reggie, I don't, I don't mean, <laughs> I, I don't mean any, uh, you know, no I'm not disrespect. trying to, and no disrespect, of right. course, but. I mean, you've talked, you, you played with guys that are still involved in Philadelphia, Philadelphia media. Oh, yeah. So this was, this was really, uh, this was really great. I know that I'm here to, we're supposed to be talking about Speed Raceway, but 
I get a little overwhelmed because I am such a huge fan and you know it was it was I mean more than just the 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 winning side and and the fans getting back into it I mean it was a transition I mean you're looking at a time where uh, we blew up the vet yeah we moved to the NovaCare and became a first class organization right. with 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 modern amenities we also be, you know kind of got into this age where football players were under the helmet and then transitioned to being accessible to the fans right the changes in media right so I mean it really was a transition yeah you know what and, and thinking about it now not only was it a time where the Eagles culture changed and the Eagles really kind of blew up but the league was blowing up at the same time obviously the 90s were a great time for the league that's when it really started to build but the early 2000s really was when the NFL skyrocketed to become the number one sport in, sure. the, in the country. Sure, and I remember when, uh, I, I don't remember the exact year, but there was a year where uh, Major League Baseball went on. We, you know, they're doing a strike, they're doing their labor stuff, yeah. and I think it, right about the same time, you know, the NFL kind of finally took that thing where it became America's game. Yeah. You know, this is the biggest sport in the country is football, and it's not the it's not Major League Baseball, and it's not a, a NBA. That baseball strike happened in the mid-'90s, and, I, and there were so many people during that strike that said, I'm done. I'm done with these guys. They make so much money. They're striking now. And they didn't go back to baseball. And there's one guy I'm thinking of in particular. He didn't go to a Phillies game from the strike, which I think was in 94, until – 2014. He <laughs> literally a, waited 20 years. He was so bad. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a grudge. Yeah, now most people, they kind of let things go a little <laughs> bit easier than that. But, man, I, I, I'm so sorry that, that I ran out of time. I Really what this means is that you got to come back. Okay. You have to come back. I, I have so back. much more to talk to you about. But right now, let's focus on the task at hand. Sure. I want you to check out this camera right here. Okay. Invite everybody down the Speed Raceway and uh, take it away. All right. Absolutely, everybody. Uh, Speed Raceway, all the information you need, location, address, phone numbers, our hours of operations, all the different stuff we talked about with our birthday parties, corporate events, summer camps, everything can be found on our website, speedraceway.com. Uh, some of the th great things that we have coming up right now, you know, if, if, if you're looking for something for your kid to do this summer, you know, school's out. It's great for them to sit around and get some rest for, for a couple of days, but, you know, summer's long. So get them out of the house. Get them active. We have some great summer camps starting up. Uh, we have racing leagues. If you're a part of a business, I'm telling you, our corporate events are second to none. So if you're part of a business, you know, you know if you're the decision maker, give us a call. If you're, if you're not, you know, you know, put in a good word for us and get your team out here. Awesome. This was fantastic. Go check out Speed Raceway. It's a great place. You're really going to enjoy it. This is Brandon Whiting. He is the president of Speed Raceway. Brandon, thank you so much for coming in this morning. We Absolutely. really appreciate it. We'll have you back. We've got so much more coming up on Morning Coffee this morning. You have to stick around on the Radio Vision Network. We'll be right back.